Princess Masong, Head Designer and Creative Director at MAS Masong Architectural Studio. I have been in the design industry for three years, but my family has been constructing buildings, houses, and renovating spaces for as long as I can remember. Well, I believe it runs in the blood, and this is my time. Stay with me as I share some of my project reveals, practical advices, and challenges every designer faces in this industry. I am Zess, and I'm obsessed with design. Alright, so let's start this walkthrough with the kitchen. Before we get into the walkthrough, let me show you first how we designed this unit. Our client for this project is an OFW who purchased this unit to become a source of their passive income. Unfortunately, this unit sits out unrented because of its obsolete design and condition. If you're looking to cash in on your rental property, then here are 5 tips on how to make your space more rentable. Tip number 1 is paint. It is mind-blowing how a space can feel brand new just by changing the wall color. Tip number two is neutral palette and dark or bright accent. Renting a property means that your space should attract the general public and not just a few specific ones. So choosing a neutral palette accented with light or dark items will definitely take a hit. Tip number three is furnished. Convenience attracts more renters if they know they don't have to bring anything except themselves and their clothes then it can be booked more often than others. Tip number four is staging, furnishing and decorating your space as if it will be shot for a magazine cover. Last tip is photography. High quality photos should be on top of your list if you want your property booked all year long. So let's do a recap. Here are the five tips to make your space more rentable. And now let me show you the rendered perspectives of our design. Did you get ready in the dark or something? Because you look like a beautiful nightmare. Don't you know? cabinetry here so the originals were not this color and then we had to change it to coordinate with the rest of the design of the unit also this one was in black and we changed it to white so that it doesn't look very heavy so we added this range hood the slides so this can be navigated here uh, switched off on and then this slide here you see and then lastly we added this bar to add with the countertop. So as you can see, this is very small. So we just added this to double as another countertop and also as a bar. You can also dine here since we added stools. So bar stools here. So you can have your meals in this area. So next we have the mirror so that you can check yourself out. And then you can also take off your shoes and put it here. And we also have a drop-off area for keys and uh, shades, all that. And then if you have coats or if you have anything that you want to just hang, so it's located here. 
All right, so we're done with the kitchen. We will now go to the bathroom. By the way, this is an existing refrigerator, and then we just added this pantry area for all the stuffs that the renters would like to place there. So here in the bathroom, we added this washing machine. This is a wash and dry washing machine. And then this is only 80% drying. So our solution for that is to add this drying rack. So whenever they have clothes that are still damp after using this washing machine, they can just use that. So here we also have this lavatory. So we added this cabinetry here for storage. And then we also have this shelving unit with mirror. And then the shower area. So we didn't change anything in the shower area, just this drapes. So next we have the living area. So here in the living area, they had a divider in this area that divides the kitchen and the living area. So we took that off and then we placed a large L-type sofa here that can turn into a sofa bed. So this can be pulled out to become a queen-size bed. And then we also have a storage area in this space here so that if the renters have visitors or even the owner themselves have visitors they can have the lounge here and they can also sleep here so this is the TV area so before there was a bulky cabinetry here we took that off and then we changed it to this size this is very small storage because they don't have any Thing that they will be placing here just remote controls and other stuff so very minimalist design in this area and then we just accented it with paneling on the walls so as you can see we also have lattice works here to match the rest of the lattice works that we have also at the back of the sofa and in the bedroom that I will be showing you later on so by the way, we have this lattice works here as I mentioned earlier and then I just accented it with this art piece and then I framed it with black to match the rest of the blacks that we have here in the design. So we have lights, we have metal that, that are also dark and then of course the alliances. So now let's go to the bedroom. So in the bedroom, we have a queen-size bed and then I centered it in the space wherein we can still have space here to access the lights. So we have a switch here for this night lamp or wall lamp and then we also have outlets in this space so that when the owner or the, the one who will be renting here will charge their phones, they can charge it in the space. Next thing is this cabinetry here. So we have shelving units in this space. These are for displays. As you can see, decors in the space. Then if the owner has bigger items, they can also like change this stuff. So they can put in something there that is larger and then just keep this or they can use all of the shelving. Then we also have for hanging clothes. Uh, all our stuffs are here actually, but this is just sliding door so that it doesn't take up that much space. So sliding and also we have another shelving unit here that is also adjustable. In this area here, this is actually one of the most requested parts of renovation these days. This is a small office so that they can work from home when they're here. We have this table, and then we just made sure to have outlets and switches here. So this is the switch for this area. And then three outlets so that if you're charging and you're using your laptop at the same time, and also other stuff, you can use that outlet there. Then this is a window. That is the reason why uh, there is light coming in. So we placed blinds. So this is a zebra blind. So as you can see, 
they have light coming in also in the space. So this is the garden. So the flooring is changed into grass uh, as per request by the owner. And then we just placed a little sitting area here. But we will not be showing the chair because we'll be changing that later on. So just a table where they can sip their coffee in the morning. So this is their view. So Mimesa Garden Residences is a really great investment or property if you want to invest here in Cebu. And then they have a lot of swimming pools here. And then even if it's building to building, you can see that it really has a lot of greeneries as well. So we just matched it here. have it I think that concludes our tour of the newest uh, turned over unit here at Mbesa Garden Residences. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!